welcome to your summer term. We're going to do something a little bit different in dance this term, which is to actually go through what makes a successful choreography and a successful performance. So when you perform something, I or your dance examiner will look at four different categories of skills. The first of which is physical skills. These are things such as your flexibility, your balance, your coordination and your strength. We work on these things in our technique, our warm-ups and throughout the performances. The next thing is technical skills, which is the actual movements you're using, how you're doing them, where you're doing them and with whom you are doing them. This is what we're going to focus on today. Um, there's also your performance skills, which is how you apply emotion into what you're doing and the facial expressions that you use to communicate your theme. And lastly, your mental skills. So this is your attitude, this is how you perform and remember your movements um, and basically your discipline within rehearsal. So we're going to go through, right back at the beginning, our technical skills, going through um, the action, space, dynamics and relationships. So think to yourself now, what were the five basic body actions that Miss Maynard has probably said to you many times? To have a think to yourself now. I'm going to go through them and start building upon from the beginning. Okay, so the first of basic body actions is to jump. So when we're jumping firstly, to make sure that we're being safe, we have to be aligned, which means that our knees go over our toes, um, our feet are in parallel facing straight forwards, and when we jump, we bend our knees, we raise our heels, peel through the balls of the foot, and then you reverse the process by peeling back down, bending the knees and straightening. So think about how many different ways can you jump. Can you jump by changing the direction, by changing if you're going from two feet to one foot. So say for example, I could go from two feet to one foot, I could go to another foot, I could go a little sideways, um, I could do jump turn. What different ways can you take a jump and do it in as many different ways as possible. Try and find four different ways now. Okay, so leading on from that, we're now going to look at how we can turn. So a turn is something that obviously is when you are turning direction within the space. This could be a simple turn like this. It could be something that's a bit more like dramatic. You could do, um, uh, you could change the level in the turn to the floor and standing up. You could do, again, another jump turn. You could do a little bow roll, anything that means that you're rotating within the space. Try to find four different turns now. The third one is travel. So that is where, find a spot in front of you. So pick somewhere on the floor. You might be in a limited space, you might have lots of space, but find somewhere and think, how can you get to that spot? So if I'm going to aim to be over there, how could I travel to it? I could just walk, or I could do a little slide, or I could turn to it while I'm stepping, go down. Think of different ways in which you can travel from your original spot to your chosen spot. Try and find three ways. Off you go. So the fourth one is gesture. People get confused about this one, but all it means is a movement you do without having to change your weight or travel across the space. So a gesture could be simply an arm ripple, it could be something with your leg, because my centre of gravity is still here, it's something small that you do. Hand drive is a gesture, because again, I'm not having to change my weight. It's a small thing that I can do with an isolated part of my body. Um, yeah, so try and choose three gestures and while we are here, get on to the final one, which is stillness. So with stillness, you just need to find that place in your movements where you might be doing a hand drive and then you might freeze. Or you could be travelling and turning and you could freeze. So it's trying to add in them different movements that when they're put together, it makes something really exciting. What I want you to do is to choose two jumps, 
one method of travel, two turns, one gesture, and one moment of stillness, and try to create a little phrase that includes them in it. It, it, can, it can be done within a small space, just something that you are choosing basic body actions that you want to use, and then I want you to tell me what options you chose, what they look like, or to make it easier, you can film yourself doing it and submit it that way. Have a go at doing your choreography and showing how you can create movements using the technical skills by applying different actions. Just to show for an example of this, I'm gonna show you how I'm going to choose a jump, which I'm gonna do a leap. I'm gonna turn that here, adding my turn. I'm gonna add my gesture, that was like a flip, flip, third throw. And then I'm going to do another turn by turning here, jump backwards, and then I'm going to travel forwards and stillness. So that is all it is. You're adding together different movements and ensuring that it has a little choreography that once you've done it a couple of times, you'll memorize it. Jump, which I'm going to do a leap. I'm going to turn that here, adding my turn. I'm gonna add my gesture. That was like a flip, flip, third throw. And then I'm gonna do another turn by turning here, jump backwards, and then I'm going to travel forwards and stillness. So that is all it is. You are adding together different movements and ensuring that it has a little choreography that once you've done it a couple of times, you'll memorize it and be able to use it for next week.